yelling. Hey, I think they're going to take me to jail. Begging. Please, don't arrest me, please. Knocking on walls. Just part of the story that unfolds inside an interrogation room on the third floor of Omaha Police Headquarters. Did you hear Thomas Hartman? It begins when 25-year-old Thomas Hartman tells detectives he was the victim of a crime. He said his brother robbed him, but detectives did their homework. You just need to come clean, because I have a video of, of him during the time of this robbery. He's on the other side of town. While charging Hartman with false reporting, his 17-year-old girlfriend was in another room talking with detectives about sex trafficking. Babe! Babe! She told detectives she was doing sexual favors in exchange for money under Hartman's direction. Don't get that money and bomb me out, Jay Lynn! 90 minutes later, Hartman stacks a chair on the table and puts his hands in the ceilings. Officers catch him in the act. They wonder if he's trying to escape. You're at the freaking police station, man, and you just put a chair on the table and try to get up in the ceiling. Hartman wasn't escaping. He was hiding something. The officer didn't see it when he searched the ceiling, and it's easy to miss. Take a look again. Notice the white ball falling out when the officer lifts the ceiling tile. He found someone else's wallet up there, but didn't see the cocaine in the ceiling fall to the floor. It wasn't until the technician straightened up the room. Mother. When she discovered the drugs on the floor, adding yet another charge to the man who first said he was a victim of a crime.